I'm Joey, and yes, welcome to the Midday Show here on ICRT. Also, welcome to our video portion on YouTube. Today, we have a very exciting show to bring to you, and this is one that's been around for whew, the last couple of decades. They're called Stump, and they're about to visit Taiwan very soon. Today, we have a very fortunate opportunity to speak with three members of Stump, uh, as you can see in the picture. So smack in the middle, we have Sarah Golding. Hello. Hey, everyone. And to the left, we have Andrew Patrick. Hello. How's it going? My right, your left. We have Dominic Shat. What's up? Hi. Uh, the most veteran performer at Stump is Andrew. Is that correct? Yeah. I've been, How long has it been? Uh, I've been doing the show since 2002, so 20 years. You don't look a day over 20. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it like to be with Stump through the evolution of your performances? I mean, to be honest with you, it's just been it's it's one of the, the reasons I've done it so long is because it's a pretty refreshing show. We change it all the time. There's a lot of improv involved. Um, and just being able to travel and do what I love to do, it's just, you know, can't match it. Do you have organic conversations with, say, the artistic director about in what direction you would like each show or each phase of the show to go in? Do you guys have that conversation? I mean, we we definitely, the creators of the show, we'll go, we'll go down to, like, um, the kind of headquarters um, and workshop new routines and stuff. And I guess you get a little bit of input yeah. of, you know, kind of trying to discover new things and whatever. Um, but they, they have, you know, the main control. But the good thing about the show is there is a lot of improv in it. So we bring a piece of ourselves to everything. And what's your background? If you're bringing a piece of yourself, what's your background? Uh, well, I've been I've been a musician since I was, I want to say, well, I started like singing and acting when I was like five or six. And then I started playing drums when I was 10. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I went to I went to music school. Didn't really like it. I left and I was playing in bands and fixed computers. And then I auditioned for Stomp and I got it and that was it. Just never turned back. Really? So you actually got into a little bit of tech before you got onto Stomp? Fully. Yeah, because I was kind of like, oh, you know, it's, life as a professional musician is really tough, you know, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So, you know, unless you get a nice, a nice gig. So I was kind of working on like, you know, playing in bands and like trying to get gigs like that. But I needed like some a foundation to make some decent money. And, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. And then I just... My dreams came true, so to speak. Life is a constant battle between the realistic perspective of, or realistic side of having to make enough cash to feed yourself and your artistic dream, right? But yeah. for Sarah, at least, I think, uh, looking at your um, CV, you've been in performing arts ever since the get-go. Is that right? Yeah. Wow, I love that you've been looking at my CV. It's famous. It's <laughs> I got it all right here. Yeah, nothing escapes our eyes. Um, yeah, I guess I've been... Um, I'm, I'm the... I'm one of the kind of newest members of the of Stump at the moment. Um, okay. But I've been kind of dancing since I was a teenager, really, um, and then trained in professionally in like contemporary dance. So Stomp was my first, is my first gig involving kind of playing any kind of musicalness. And it's been amazing. I feel like I've just learned in the past six years I've been with Stomp, I've learned so much. And it's been a huge challenge, but it's been... Um, yeah, it's like, it's such a pleasure to be learning new stuff every day. Even after being in it for six years, every day I'm like discovering something new about the show and about rhythm, um, discovering new tricks from these guys constantly. Um, yeah, it's really such a pleasure to be in the company. So these two, Andrew and Dominic, they're your big bros, basically. Yeah, Let's defo, see. defo. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are watching this, our viewers, if you couldn't tell from the accent, um, Andrew is American, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Sarah, you're from the UK. Yes. Yeah. Did you apply for Stump from the UK? How did this happen? Um, they just put out an open call for in. That's for everyone, right? They've always just put yep. out an open call. Yeah. And then you kind of turn up to the theatre. You queue around the block like you see on TV. You queue, queue around the block for hours. You go in. You do like a little a little half hour session as a group. And then um, they kind of pick a few people. And then you go through like rounds of recalls. So it's really like. How you imagine kind of like auditions happen on the TV? It happens like that in real life. Wow! So it's like UK Idol, except you know it's a performing troupe that everybody wants to get into. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, what about Dominic? Where are you from? Well, as you can tell from my accent, probably I'm from Germany. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was your question. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's very efficient answer. That is very German of you, actually. <laughs> so you've been with Stump since 2015. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. So I was 
one generation before Sarah was when I joined. Okay, what's it like to have different generations of performers? It's a good thing for the show to have people from all those generations. Some have a lot of experience, others have a lot of energy because they're fresh. Um, so we can all learn from each other as well. I don't want to break uh, Andrew's heart by saying this, but when Sarah, for example, first came into Stomp, did she go, oh my gosh, I was watching you perform when I was a kid? When I first joined the show, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the guy from all the YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> and even sometimes when I'm on stage with him, I look at him and I'm like, this is the guy from all the YouTube videos. <laughs> when you go on tour, and this is the case for a lot of performing arts groups, uh, troops going around the world, hundreds of shows, especially something like Stump, um, I'm sure it's very regimented. I'm sure physically and mentally you have to prepare yourself for show after shows. Sometimes it's consecutive shows daily and you might need an understudy to take in, to, to, to jump in, you know. So on that front, you know, what's it like to tour around the world as members of Stump? Yeah, to be honest, like I think in the light of COVID at the moment, it's, it's become a lot more like we need to make sure that, under, that our swing roles are prepared, like fully prepared because you know, at any point we can be taken out. We've, we've been lucky so far. We've not, we've had some sicknesses, but we've not had any COVID. So um, we've done a lot of rehearsals recently for our swing roles. I think prior to this time, it's, um, we've kind of taken for granted the fact that we play more than one role in the show because it's just been like, okay, this night I'm being like this role, this night I'm being this role. So we kind of do a lot of rehearsals outside of the actual performance itself to make sure us are, that um, like our second role is constantly up to scratch um, and that if we need to jump into any role, we can. Um, I don't know if that answered your question. I kind of like waffled on a little bit. Maybe <laughs> it's a family effort, right? Essentially, you guys all do it together. And like Andrew said from the very get-go, that it's very improv. Uh, sometimes it's very organic. So I'm sure that means you guys all need to at least know of the each role everyone else is doing during every performance. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's you're you're very in tune with what people are doing, and we because we kind of there's there's twelve of us on tour, but there's eight of us in the show. Yeah. So every evening there's four people that are that are off, um, and the reason why we know other roles is so we can give people nights off. So you kind of get to know how this person does that role and how this person does that role um, from you know all the switching around that we do, the rehearsals we do, because some of the stuff we do is quite dangerous as well. So like you gotta, we do lots of combat and stuff and someone might do it differently than the other person. You might throw something to someone a little bit differently. So you kind of get to know, oh, that person throws a little bit high sometimes. That throws, person throws low. That person throws slow. That person, you know what I mean? Just like, things like that. It's like, um, so yeah, you do get to know everybody's sort of vibe. That also has to do with the physique of everyone as well, right? So you gotta get used to, for example, if someone is taller, they might swing higher. Yes. Someone is, there you go. I, I figure, yeah. Dominic, how tall are you? Yeah. <laughs> um, like close to two meters. Oh my gosh. And Sarah is, I'm guessing, slightly shorter than you. I'm also close to two meters. <laughs> I don't know if you could. You're close to one meter. It's all in the legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like two, I don't know, five foot two, five foot two. Okay. Um, next to these guys, I'm kind of like a bit like, you know, down here bouncing around, yeah. waving at people. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I think as well, like just to add on from what Andy was saying, that like everyone plays within the show, there's all the characters have kind of like um, personalities as well, yeah. but everyone can play the personality, how they feel it is authentic for them. So I think that's another thing that keeps it super exciting for us and super fresh is like understanding how each person plays that role in terms of their own personality. So mm. what they bring to it on that specific day as well, they might not do the same thing in today's show that they did in yesterday's show. So yeah. for us, it's really like keeps us on our toes in terms of how we play with like the acting side of things as well, which is super cool. So you would figure this out during rehearsal and of course from being with each other for so long that there is some sort of um, chemistry there that you just kind of know. Now Stump, in Chinese, by the way, is called Po Tong Lan Tie. Which I don't know if I don't know if you guys know, but trans loosely translated into English, it means junk. Right. Hey. So from the perspective of the performers, does that encapsulate what this show is about and how so? Who wants to take this one? Junk, obviously, um is stuff that we play. <laughs> it's the stuff that we use as instruments. Because like one of the basic ideas of Stomp is that anything you get your hands on could be a musical instrument because yeah. 
pretty much everything makes some sort of sound and you can move with it and you can create some sort of comedy with it. And uh, yeah, that's one of the basic concepts. And in the show, we use all kinds of stuff from brooms, to matchboxes, bin lids, bins, tires, tractor tires, like all kinds of, the, the whole set looks like a massive garbage, garbage, what do you call this? Chunk, yeah, chunk, yeah, yeah. A, ware a warehouse with a bunch of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's one of the main reasons why your dedicated fans for so long have loved you is uh, just the f the concept that honestly music could be from anything in your life yeah. and that's what makes a, a great show hopefully everyone gets off their seats uh in the end and you know for those of you watching this before the show please remember to do that you know be it a sending ovation or get with the music i think that's what you guys want to see the most right yeah and, and to be honest with you, if, if the audience is a bit feel it seems a bit reserved a lot of times that means that they're really paying attention and they're really into it which is really important to us too. True. So, yeah. and it's, and it's, it's all, you don't really know until the end, you know, when, when people feel comfortable, they can like really give their applause and stand up and you know what I mean? So, and I'm sure we were talking about the very, very end too, because you guys probably have some encore planned and I'm sure that's also a big part of the performance. Yeah. So can't uh, wait to see you guys. And uh, here in Taiwan, um, absolutely kicking butts here in uh, this part of Asia. And Sarah, hopefully you can make it. Yes. But today we had Sarah Golding, uh, Andrew Patrick, and Dominic Shad. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Can't wait. Bye.